In this video, you'll learn how to deploy applications using AWS Service Catalog product chaining. With this capability, administrators can provide approved templates for standard AWS resources through Service Catalog. Developers can then chain Service Catalog products to integrate their applications or business logic on top of these base resources quickly and securely. To get started, let's go to Service Catalog. For our purposes, a portfolio of Service Catalog products has already been configured. We're going to look at three examples of product chaining. In this first example, we'll deploy a simple network using a Service Catalog product that provisions an Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, or Amazon VPC, with subnets. Let's see how we can use the CloudFormation template to chain the provisioned Service Catalog products. Here, you can see two CloudFormation templates side by side. On the right, you can see the Service Catalog template for a VPC product. On the left is the CloudFormation template for the complete network we want to deploy. Each Service Catalog product can output values that can be consumed by other Service Catalog products. In this example, the VPC product outputs a VPC ID value. This can be used as an input to the Service Catalog subnet product. Our CloudFormation template will provision the Service Catalog VPC product first, and then take the output VPC ID and pass it to the subnet product. This action is product chaining. The getAt function enables CloudFormation to extract the output value from the Service Catalog product. Here, you can see the syntax for the function. The parameters are simply the resource name and the output name. Here, you can see product chaining for another subnet. Let's look at another example of product chaining, where the VPC is chained to a route table. Notice that the route table product is referencing the VPC ID, and the route table association is referencing the subnet ID. Now let's take a look at a more complex example. We are looking at the same template in both panes, so we can look at different parts of it at the same time. This is a CloudFormation template that will provision a data pipeline using Kinesis to handle real-time data streams from a variety of AWS resources. Note that this CloudFormation stack will use the network created from the template we looked at earlier. The first Service Catalog product provisioned in this template is a Key Management Service, or KMS Key Resource, used to encrypt data transfer between Kinesis and Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3. The S3 bucket, which is deployed through the provisioning of its corresponding service catalog product, requires a KMS ID as a provisioning parameter in order to encrypt any data that enters or leaves the bucket. To fulfill this value, we pass the getAt function for the KMS ID provisioning parameter referencing the KMS key resource output. Similarly, the Kinesis data stream requires the Amazon resource name, or ARN, of a KMS resource to encrypt inbound or outbound data. Again, the value is fulfilled by the getAt function. The Kinesis data stream also requires the ARN of an S3 bucket where it can deposit its encrypted data streams. As part of the overall solution, Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS, is configured as a provisioned service catalog product to send notifications for certain actions related to auto-scaling, which might be performed as data requirements change. Here, encryption is performed by KMS to secure messages sent by SNS. To fulfill its KMS ID provisioning parameter, we'll use the getAt function. When creating the application load balancer, three resources need to be provisioned. The application load balancer itself, the application load balancer target group, and the application load balancer listener. As the listener is provisioned, 
the application load balancer and target group are referenced, chaining the three products together. Finally, this template provisions auto scaling, referencing the application load balancer target group and SNS topic ARN to chain the products together. The subnet service catalog product is likewise provisioned according to its service catalog product template. Now let's go to CloudFormation to create this stack. We'll create a stack by uploading the template we just viewed. Provide a bucket name. Now that the solution has deployed, let's quickly check the resources. All the corresponding service catalog provisioned products were created successfully. Now, to validate that the service is working, let's look in the deployed S3 bucket. Kinesis has deposited compressed data logs in the S3 bucket, indicating that the solution is working as expected. You've just seen how to deploy applications using AWS Service Catalog product chaining. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.